Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Su-30 MKI which forms the backbone of Indian Air Force has plethora of deadly missiles integrated and many more under development. The famous one is indeed BrahMos, Astra Mark 1 and SAW. The development comes user trial is also work in progress for Astra Mark 2 having range of 160 km. The next deadly set of indigenous missiles to be integrated with Su-30 MKI will be Rudram series. The IDO is developing three missiles in this series namely Rudram 1, 2 and 3. Rudram 1 is an anti-radiation missile primarily being developed for suppression of enemy air defense seed missions and can be launched from a large standoff distance. It will be used against targets emitting radio frequency such as ground-based surveillance and fire control radars. The electromagnetic radiations with frequency between 10 kHz and 100 GHz are referred as radio frequency. The missile can be launched from an altitude of 500 m to 15 km with a maximum operational range of 200 km. The missile weighs around 600 kg with warhead of 60 kg. It uses pre-fragmented warhead with optical proximity fuse and is powered by a dual pulse solid rocket motor. The missile features dual seeker system comprising of passing homing head and millimeter wave active seeker. The primary guidance system of Rudram 1 is an onboard passive homing head which provides mid-course guidance. The passing homing head is capable of detecting a radio frequency emission from 100 km away. Its accuracy is further improved with the help of INS GPS navigation. The millimeter wave seeker is used for the end game or terminal phase. The millimeter wave seeker will ensure that even though the radar is turned off or moved away, it is located and destroyed. It also enables the missile to discriminate between an actual target and a decoy. The missile also features two-way data link and is capable of lock-on before and lock-on after launch modes. The missile has maximum speed of Mach 2. The Su-30 MKI is the primary weapon platform for the Rudram 1 and in future it will also be integrated with other fighter jets of Indian Air Force. The missile is expected to have circular error probability of 5 meters. The latest test of Rudram 1 missile was conducted on 9th October 2020 from Su-30 MKI. The missile is an advanced stage of development and is expected to be inducted in 2022. The IDO has been maintaining a lot of secrecy related to development of Rudram 2 and 3 missiles. Rudram 2 will be air to surface launched missile with a weight of around 700 kg and warhead of 200 kg. The missile will have a range of 300 km and a speed of Mach 4. The missile will use INS GPS satellite guidance along with inertial navigation for mid-course guidance and will also feature IIR seeker for terminal guidance. Rudram 2 and Rudram 3 will feature laser altimeter which will improve the accuracy of missile and are assistant to jamming. The Su-30 MKI is undergoing modification for the carriage and release trials of Rudram 2. DRDO has commenced the fabrication process along with BDL for 10 Rudram 2 missiles for testing. DID is also working on an offset version of Rudram 2 called Rudram 2A which is under development for Indian Navy with additional sea skimming features and enhanced sensors to locate moving targets in the sea. This missile will carry different warhead seeker and is intended for completely different role. Rudram 3 is going to be a two stage missile similar to Russian Kinzhal. The first stage is booster stage and second stage is a dual pulsed motor. The missile will weigh close to 600 to 700 kg with a warhead of 200 kg and a range of 550 km. The new image of Rudram 3 reveals the addition of 16 control surfaces which will make the missile highly maneuverable. It has eight control surfaces in the mid section and another eight in the tail end. The fixed wing in the mid section will help the missile to achieve the hypersonic speed. The missile will use INS GPS satellite guidance along with inertial navigation for mid-course guidance with a circular error probability of 4 meters. The missile will also follow a quasi ballistic trajectory and will hit target with hypersonic velocity. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. 
If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.